All right, so what is there for youngsters to do? We've been looking into this all week, and I have the answer. Well, I don't have the answer this morning, actually. Chief scientist Carl Nelson has it from the Imagination Station. I thank you so much for joining us today. Sure, thanks for having us. Well, and maybe this is something we don't need to try at home? This is probably something you don't want to try at home. But okay. you know, at the Science Center, we do a variety of special event weeks throughout mm -hmm. the year. One of my favorite is Fourth of July Science. And we okay. have that coming up. We have it right now. Oh, right. Right here. Uh -oh. So put your safety glasses yes, on. Sir. One of the things that people always ask is how do fireworks get their colors? Okay? I'm curious. We're going to find out. In this beaker, I've got a little bit of methyl alcohol. It burns with a nearly invisible flame. Uh huh. Okay, so it's burning okay. right now. Really hard to see. Don't put your hands over it. All right. But what we can do is what firework manufacturers do is sprinkle in a variety of compounds. This is okay. sodium chloride, and you might see oh. we get more of like a yellowish flame. Okay. Okay. So you see yellow fireworks, sodium. Uh, lithium, like you might find in your cell phone batteries, mm -hmm. is a little bit of a different color. That's a beautiful. A little bit of a hot pink, yes. if you will. You know, potassium, which you find in bananas, is going to give us a little bluish flame. Now, one of my favorites, though, is strontium, which you find in road flares. Okay, and road flares sure. you want to have be, be very, very bright, mm -hmm. so it gives you a nice, brilliant red color. And then copper. Copper, which you find in pennies, or a Statue of Liberty, right. variety of things. Nice, <sighs> nice green. But fireworks would not be as exciting as they are without a little splash of sparkle. And so in this little uh, pipette here. I want you to okay. flip it over and squeeze it in to the flame, just right from back here. Okay. And we're going to get some iron particles that are going to heat up in that flame. And you get some oh, really like, nice... What do, woman doesn't do it, love do a bit of again. sparkle, right, ladies? So here's a little magnesium along with... And so we can get some nice, bright sparklies there, some white... You've seen those fireworks, I right? I have. The, I'm trying to take my chin up off the ground right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the magnesium. So do your iron okay. again. And so again, you can combine a lot of these different compounds together. We could have green and magnesium and, you know, it, it, it's the possibilities are endless. Uh, well, okay. I see that. Well, I have to ask, when um, youngsters come into the Imagination Station, of course, you're the one conducting this. Do they get a chance to kind of get hands-on? They do. Not with this particular experiment, but we do have a variety of options for volunteers to come up and help us during all of our shows that we do, whether it's a uh, combustion show, motion mm -hmm. show, sound show. There's always a way that we can incorporate our visitors into the experience and make it fun. Some things aren't appropriate, right. some things are. I, had the, I have to ask, you always get the oohs and the ahs. That's, that's what we're <laughs> shooting for. You know, a lot of times, if we can get people excited about science by having them see something really cool like this, then we can start talking about science at a little bit deeper of a level. Right. So it's kind of the flash and the sizzle in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then we can actually start talking real science. So again, you can, even though kids may be out of school in the summer, you still have the chance to educate them on something. Absolutely. I love that. What else is going on at the Imagination Station? We have events happening all the time. Check out our uh, webpage, ImaginationStationToledo.org. You can find everything that we're doing. But one thing we're going to talk about a little bit later mm -hmm. are our summer camps. Summer camps, which will be coming up, yes, Absolutely. in the near future. How many camps do you have going on? Uh, we have about three camps going on. Okay. And one is a MacGyver camp, mm -hmm. which, you know, <laughs> needs no explanation. No, it doesn't. Another is a, just a messy camp. We do all sorts of messy experiments. Um, and so check out the website. Okay. You can register starting now. Um, the camps start uh, next month, the right. 15th. Um, but we're going to do an experiment outside soon. It's about our messy camp. I think you'll like it. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that I will like this. <laughs> you know, I've said it, if I've said it once, I've said it at least 100 times this week already, and it's only Thursday. I wish I could go back a few years and be able to really come out and partake in so many of these activities going on in our area. But again, this gives you a look at what you can do, what you can get involved in here in Northwest Ohio, one of many Absolutely. great places, the Imagination Station. Cannot wait to check in with you outside. Yes. It's going to be fun. It will be. All right, stay right here. We have a lot more coming up here on NBC 24 today. Again, your time at 617, and we'll be back here in a few short minutes.